What's up, Sagittarius? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are wonderful. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's happening this week. Make sure you check out your monthlies as well, guys. Queen of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Wow, this is straightforward. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Pentacles. So straightforward, Sagittarius. All right, guys. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's it motivates me to keep doing these as I do have a full-time job. So doing these is um, it's a lot of work for me to add on. So it keeps me motivated. All right, here we go. So you're in this queen of swords energy, guys. Um, you are like no bullshit right now. You're not going to deal with anybody's shit. You're really um, in this energy of cutting people off in a fucking minute. If they fuck with your healing here. Because you've been through some shit. Like you've got the four of swords here in your past. So this is a healing that you went through. Some kind of a recovery period or, you know, this can be the person you're dealing with. But with you being that queen of swords energy, I think it's you. I think you've been through some shit. You, uh, you're healing from it and you're not going to let anybody mess that up. Um, and now you have the five of pentacles. So you are either like kicking somebody the fuck out of your life, which again, I think that it's you. I don't think anybody's leaving you because you're being all queen of swords. You're like... You're bullshit. Get out of my life. Get out of my house. Whatever that means for you. You could just be ghosting somebody. It doesn't have to be that serious. You could just be like blocking somebody on fucking Facebook or something. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you put a stop to something. Um, something looks like it either had no long-term potential or like wasn't stable for some reason. And you just like put an end to it. You could just... You're being very logic-minded here. Temperance. Oh my gosh, look at you coming up as yourself. Right, this is awesome, Sagittarius. This is you being in your power, stopping immediately the shit that's going to take you out of, out of your power. It's like your peace is most important to you right now. Um, it's awesome. All right, let's see. Why is this Five of Pentacles here, though, for you? What is up with this five of pentacles? Knight of Wands reversed, which we have as an obstacle too. So if this is the kind of energy where the person just, it's one night stand shit. Um, you might have had a one night stand and ghosted the person or they could have done that to you or um, you just realize that that's all they're there for because you've got it now here twice. You've got it in your present after rejection um, and you have it as an, as an obstacle here. So there's there's somebody here that's just around for sex. It's the kind of person that like you don't hear from the next day. You might hear from them like in two days, but you know what I mean? It's that kind of person. And you're just like, fuck it. Get out of here. Nine of cups. Right. You're looking for your wish fulfillment. You're not looking for that bullshit. Get another one here. What's up with the nine of cups for Sagittarius? Knight of cups. All right, well, this is someone coming in here being all romantic. Um, now, the thing with the Knight of Cups, they're, they're sweet. Um, this is really like, like datey, like you guys actually going out on a date. This is like a picnic or something on the card. Um, but it's real sweet. It's real flirty. They could be younger than you, though, because you are all queen energy here. Um, male or female doesn't matter. You're all temperance, so you're like at the highest level of yourself. They're just a knight. <laughs> They're just a little knight. They're not at your level. Um, and it's not necessarily their fault. They might be younger. They might just not have as much, as much experience in relationships as you. 
Um, so the Seven of Cups reversed. Well, if this is a person that has a lot of options, they're gonna they're gonna let those options go. There's not gonna be any kind of confusion here with this person. Like they're gonna mean what they say. when they're talking all sweet and flirty and romantic, like they mean it. The moon, they could be a Pisces with the moon though. Okay. So there's something that's still hidden under the surface. that's not being revealed, which is interesting because you have the seven of cups reverse with them. They're not confused. They have clarity. They mean what they say you might just not be sure. You might feel like they're hiding something. You might feel unsure. Let's see. Why is the moon here? The wheel. Oh boy. So what hasn't yet come to the surface? Sagittarius, this is a faded connection. Doesn't mean it's your forever person necessarily, but you're meant to meet them for some reason. And this is about things turning around for you. This is like the universe is pushing this connection. They put this person in your path for some reason. We don't know what it is yet, but just go with it. If you're into them, if you're not, then fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Um, but they're all right. I just think that the thing with them is they're going to maybe be actually younger than you or not as emotionally um, experienced as you, but it doesn't mean that they're not genuine. Okay. All right. In your immediate future is the queen of wands. This is you all in your power, all in it. Sagittarius. It's beautiful. Let's get one on that queen of wands. It's passion. It's attraction. It's feeling very good about your appearance. Um, if this is the connection with this person, then it turns into something really really hot oh my gosh no fucking way the king and queen of wands <laughs> all right so you've either got this younger water sign here and then you have an older fire sign coming in in the future or this person graduates the whole way from knight to king um but you've got this energy here you and another person in the future where you guys are an actual power couple you guys like they could be a business owner. You could be. It's definitely that kind of energy. Very ambitious, goal-driven, life of the party, um, very sexual. You guys are the kind of people that, like, when you're out and about, people notice you, like, your energy, like, the way you look. Um, and it's divine counterpart with having a king and queen of the same suit. This is a divine counterpart for you. Again, doesn't have to be your forever person, but could be, could be you guys match each other really, really well. All right, your advice here is the nine of pentacles. So right now, focus on your stability, your money. Um, this person coming in, they're going to come in without you having to try. You're not going to have to do anything. Just do what you're doing. Focus on your money. If you're a business owner, focus on that. Um, this is about being independent. And I think that that's when we draw our person to us, when we're good being single, not, um, not too focused on other people. You know what I mean? We kind of like release and focus on ourselves and um, feel abundant within ourselves. And that's, that's when these people show up that are like divine counterparts. So... And the three of wands preparing for your future you could be taking a vacation this is nine of pentacles is like independently wealthy so you've got this money you might need to take a vacation maybe you meet this person on a vacation maybe they're long distance that could be all right let's get you some romance oracles sagittarius and then we will get your energy with the different signs
does Sagittarius need to hear this week? What does Sagittarius need to hear? Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Well, yeah, I mean, there's somebody that you're cutting off here, but you've got somebody else coming in. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. Do you see what I mean? You have separation and fucking wedding. How contradictory is that? It's because you're cutting somebody off and you have somebody coming in. So, like I said, like this person here, they're either growing into what you need them to be, or you've got a second person coming in here that's your divine counterpart. Okay. Let's get your energy with the different signs. And who do you have here so far? Pisces, Sagittarius. That's it for majors, Pisces and Sagittarius. Maybe your person's a Pisces. All right, here we go. Sagittarius dealing with Aries. Two of Pentacles reversed. That's too overwhelming. Um, they're getting dropped. Sagittarius dealing with Taurus. Judgment. Um, you could have a Taurus that wants to reconcile with you. This is about reevaluating the connection, looking at it, making a final decision on it. Sagittarius dealing with Gemini. Four of Cups reverse. So if you have a Gemini that uh, was previously acting like indifferent about you or your connection or just like whatever, whatever, they don't really care. They're not really taking any action. I would expect for that to change and for them to actually act like they give a shit. Sagittarius dealing with Cancer. Sagittarius and Cancer. Two of Swords reverse. Somebody is making a difficult decision there. Coming out of a little bit of denial stalemate shit. Cancer dealing with, I mean, no, we just did cancer. <laughs> Leo. Leo dealing with Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Leo. The Ace of Swords. So there's a new beginning with a Leo potentially here. Um, new communication coming in. It is honest. You can trust it. It's like they had some kind of an epiphany about you. Sagittarius dealing with a Virgo. Sag and Virgo. King of Pentacles reverse. They do not want anything committed. Um, they could be going through a breakup, but they don't want to commit. They could be just like unstable or selfish right now. Sagittarius dealing with Libra. Sag and Libra. The Empress reversed. Um, no, there's not any potential for growth there. It's just a mess. They're not in a they're not in a good healthy energy. Sagittarius dealing with Scorpio, Sag and Scorpio, Six of Wands. So that is victory, success. Um, you'd be meeting a Scorpio on social media, but they're definitely somebody who would appreciate you and, you know, feel grateful to have you. Sagittarius dealing with Sagittarius, Sag and Sag, Seven of Swords reversed. Um, you're either going to catch a Sagittarius lying or they're going to confess something to you. Sagittarius and Capricorn. Sag and Capricorn. The Three of Pentacles reversed. You guys don't make a good team. Um, there's no kind of partnership and they might have you in a third party shit. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Page of Wands. If you're not already talking to an Aquarius, you could have one reaching out to you. This is new communication, likely sex-based. We don't know if it'll go any further, but that's where it's at now. If you're considering reaching out to one, I would say go for it. Sagittarius dealing with Pisces, which you had in this reading. Four of Wands, 11, 11. All right, soulmate shit, potentially moving in together, getting married, looks good with a Pisces. Let's get you some additional messages. Additional messages for Sagittarius and love this week. What does Sagittarius need to hear as it pertains to their love life? The world, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So yeah, you're completing something and starting something new, which we already know. 
You're leveling up though, Sagittarius. It's gonna be better than what you had before. The dreamers, the full Aries. Embrace your true purpose. All right, this is a new beginning. This is really fucking cool because you have the last card in the Major Arcana and the first card. This is exactly what you wanna see. Closing out a chapter, starting a new one. It's fucking beautiful. I love when it happens that way. You're on path, Sagittarius. It, it couldn't be more clear. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay? All right. I love you guys.